Okay, so when tramming, you first have to tram the Z angle, which is this way, where they call it the nod of the spindle. And in order to do that, you have to loosen the four bolts holding on this carriage right here. So you loosen these four bolts and you loosen this adjustment bolt. I've also loosened these, but I don't know if that's required yet. That's more, these are supposedly for the side to side uh, adjustment. So right now we're just doing Z, which is the nod this way. Um, this way of the, of the um, spindle. So what I've done here is I've got a plate of glass on my bed. I've put a square on there. It's not a machinist square, but it's all I've got. And then I've set up my gauge to be right at zero. And then I've got it right at the top right now. And I've zeroed that out. I've set my jogging distance to 0 0.1 to 0 0.1, but I'm gonna move it to 10. And how you do that is you hit control and then you use 0, 1, 2, or 3. So control 0 puts it on 0 0.01. Control 1 puts it on 0 0.1. Control two puts it on one, and control three puts it on 10 millimeters every time you hit the page up or down button. So I'm gonna hit the page down right now. It's gonna go down 10 millimeters, okay? And if I've got it correct, the gauge should stay at zero all the way down. Okay, so I've gone down 60 centimeters, which is all the travel I can use right now with my gauge. And I'm still getting zero. So it looks like I've got my adjustment done correctly now. How I did that was originally, um, when I did this test, the top was at zero, but at the bottom, the dial went all the way around once. So basically every time I went down 10 millimeters, it would jump, whatever this is, 10 thousandths of an inch. So like I went down 10, then I went down 20, and then I went down 30, then I went down 40, 50, 60. Basically I went all the way around the dial. So I was off that amount. How I adjusted that was I had taken these bolts and already loosened them, pushed this backwards, and then tightened up the bolt. And what I noticed is, is that when I did that, this went to zero. Originally, I had started at the top and it was zero. I went down and the dial went all the way around. As I pushed that backwards and locked up the, the nuts on the bottom, the bolts on the bottom, because they were at zero, they stayed at zero. And then now when I go up and down, I'm at zero all the way. So my Z axis is zeroed out. So if I go back up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm at the top. And it's, it's staying right there the whole way. Looks like I got a slight gap in there. So I'm gonna adjust this into it one more time, all the way up and down. Let's take a look here. So if I go 
at zero. Now I can go down six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it looks like at the top, I may have a gap now. So I'm gonna have to adjust this just a little bit more. I may have gone too far in my adjustment. And in order to correct that, I can adjust this, because this is loose, so I can tighten this up. I can tighten up this bolt now and get rid of that, what, however much skew there is now in the wrong direction. Okay. So I'm just gonna make this finger tight. Okay. And I'm gonna start over and do it one more time until it's perfect. But that's how you do your Z-axis tramming for the print NC. Hope this helps.